Neighbors, welcome back to the kitchen. In our last little Q&A session, I remember we were talking about what would be our dream or the perfect meal. And both of us, me and Katie, we included kajami. Kajami is a type of flatfish, more specifically a soulfish. And the meat of this kajami is very soft. So a lot of uh, mothers, they'll cook kajami for their kids. Today we're gonna pan fry it, but then we're gonna also add a Korean spicy marinade on top. And then I'm gonna teach you how to make a panchan that you've probably never seen before. It's called chongpumuk, and it's a little jelly. It's very healthy, and it's made from mung bean starch. All right, guys, take a look at my flatfish. This kajami, I actually got a big size at the market. You can get it fresh like this, but of course, we're gonna do a few prep steps. At the Korean market, they'll also sell individually wrapped fillets like this. You can also use this, and we'll just skip to the breading part, and then you can add the sauce on top. Either works fine. This just looks more beautiful in presentation, and wow. First thing with any fish, you wanna uh, get rid of the scales. Grab a knife, or even a spoon works, along the sides, along the top as well. Flip it to the back side and you want to get the backside as well. So guys, pro tip, you can use an old uh, bottle cap and this works even better than a spoon. All right, we're gonna give this a quick rinse. Fish back down. We're gonna make a few cuts, not too big, around here. About three cuts so that the seasoning can go in. Same thing on the underbelly, maybe one more here as well. We're gonna use some mirin, maybe a tablespoon on each side. That way it removes some of this fishy smell. Maybe one more tablespoon. Then let's season this with some salt, be generous. And get some salt as well. Cover this with plastic wrap and then let's put this in the refrigerator for just around 10, 15 minutes while we get the marinade ready and get the other uh, dishes started as well, okay? All right, let's start off with half an onion. We'll finally dice it. Five green onions a mix of the whites and the greens. By the way, we're making enough marinade for two large kajami. You can save the rest and make some more. Throw in one tablespoon of gochukaru flakes. One tablespoon in. Then we're gonna squeeze in some garlic. I would say one tablespoon's worth. All right, that looks fantastic. One tablespoon in. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. It's one, two. One tablespoon of oligodong syrup, or you can use honey in this recipe. Again, we're not using that much, so it doesn't make that difference. Oligodong syrup, salya, chocheong, or honey. All of those work. Then one tablespoon of sesame oil. Nice. And then a fourth cup of water. All right, that looks like a delightful fiesta bowl. We can mix that. Sample, see how it tastes. Wow, not too spicy work on any fish. All right, and that ingredient that I was talking to you about earlier, it's called chongpo muk. Again, this is made from mung bean starch. And now if we take a look at the nutrition label, I can't tilt it because the water's gonna come out, but it's basically zero across the board, 0% protein, 0% cholesterol, 0.6% fat, 0% trans fat, 2.3% carbs, 0% sugar, and 3.1% sodium. So overall, very healthy ingredient. It's usually served as a little panchan at restaurants. Just empty the water out. All right guys, for this, there's not much to do other than to cut it and then to boil it. What's important is the ratio of the seasoning that we're gonna put in. I want you to work with 300, 400 grams and then you can just cut them in half. Beautiful blocks like that. So right now it's pretty hard and no one would like to bite into that. It'll taste like old jello. Ooh, just give it a little spank. Easy way, just put it into a strainer and then we'll just put it into the water and slowly they'll start to ghost. You see them turning transparent. The camera has a hard time uh, focusing on that. And small thing, but you see that your handle is sitting on this pot. This is gonna be really hot. All right, let's take them out. You see they're translucent. There's no more white. You wanna let this cool down completely. All right, once it's cooled down, we're going to add our seasoning, a teaspoon of soy sauce. Okay, and then just a few pinches of salt. Mix this up first. Very nice. Then a full tablespoon of sesame oil. And then a tablespoon of sesame seeds. Mix that up. Then we're going to take some kim, which are the dried, roasted, and slightly salted seaweed sheets. I like to crinkle it in a bag first so it doesn't get everywhere. Then we can add some of it in. 
and give it another mix. Ah, might as well just add everything in. All right, and if you've been to a Korean barbecue or Korean restaurant, I'm sure you've seen this as a panchan. That's how you make it. And we always joke in Korea that if you can grab this, you've mastered chopsticks. Yes, I've graduated that college a long time ago. Let me take a bite. It's delicious, delicious. Now let's just do a random egg fried rice, a little bit of oil. I usually put in spring onions, but I'm gonna just use green onions. I'm out. Throw in any leftover veggies. Today, I'm gonna use some string beans. Add them now. Let's get two eggs in. Get the egg scrambled. Rice to one side. I'm gonna add the soy sauce to one side so you can heat up in the pan. Just a little bit. A dash of oyster sauce as well. And then bring everything together. The soup ladle is good for pounding the rice. A little bit of salt as needed. I'm gonna just hit this with the ever small drizzle of sesame oil. That's good. All right, egg fried rice, ready to go. Now back to our fish. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna get a few paper towels. And we're gonna lay it right on. And then the point is, we wanna get rid of all moisture. That's right. We're gonna fill it with some flour. Lay it in, and we'll cover both sides with plenty of flour. And then make sure to shake off any flour. Get my cast iron. Get a good amount of oil in so that the fish doesn't stick to the frying pan. We're gonna need a lid later, so find something that decently fits. And once it's hot, I'm gonna put our fish down, skin side down. After it's in, we wanna to reduce to a medium heat. Give it around three minutes on each side. Timing will vary depending on the size of your fish. It's okay to take a peek, no problem. All right, I could already see a nice color, so I'm gonna flip it a little bit early. Take a look. Wow. Wow. Beautiful. <laughs> Guys, look at that color all the way up and down. I want to get some coloring on here too, so I'm going to just pour some oil over the top. Guys, let me take a look at the underside. Ooh, that looks good. That looks good too. Now, don't forget, this is why we came to the show. We're going to take our Korean marinade, give it another good mix. Oh my gosh. Put it onto our fish. Wow. Melt it over. All right, guys. And it's going to start to splatter a little bit as it goes into the oil. Take your lid, place it on top so it could steam through. And through that steam, the marinade on the top side is going to cook, get a deeper flavor, and slowly trickle into the meat as well. Amazing. Amazing. All right, lift up. Woo! Oh my God. <laughs> yes, and there it is. This midsection right here, I know it's gonna be delicious. Open it up. Oh, just take a look at this. Yes. I'm gonna put it on some of this rice. 잘 먹겠습니다. Oh my gosh. This is like a restaurant. It's cooked perfectly. And then the seasoning on top is just incredible. I think my parents would absolutely love this because they eat a lot of fish. And just, um, it, this would be amazing for a home party. Amazing. Now again, neighbors, if all you can find is the filet version, that sauce on top of this is just as good. All right, so go ahead and give it a try. And uh, I think you'll really love it. The meat is really soft mm. and with the sauce, I don't think we need to use the chopstick. Can I spoon some on that? Spoon it all? Yeah, you're right. Just scoop it. Why is it so long?